Hey everybody, Henry's here. Today I'm gonna take the time to talk to you a little bit and introduce you with Huawei's amazing features, shortcuts and gestures that it offers. Now this exact model that you are looking at right now is the P40 Pro and after I got it, I got introduced to this amazing user interface that it offers with its gestures and shortcuts. Not to mention about its amazing camera bundle on its back, right? All right, so let's start talking first about screenshots. With my Huawei P40 Pro, I can take a screenshot in three ways. First way is the physical what I like to call it physical way because I need to press down buttons in a physical way. So in this case I need to press down the power button and also the lower volume button at the same time to take a screenshot, right? The second way I like to call it touch way because well you need to touch the screen. So uh, one way requires you to actually make a knuckle and then tap twice or knock twice on the screen just like that right and you get a screenshot the third way i like to call it airway why airway because i don't have to touch the phone in any way right i can even leave the phone somewhere and i can grab a shot just like that you see it works so simple it's very intuitive and this works thanks to as you can see right here here is two camera sensors. One is the top camera sensor, which is the time of flight camera sensor. It's like a depth sensor. It uses infrared laser to actually read out movement. And in this case, in a distance of, let's say 20 to 40 centimeters, it will uh, capture a screenshot if you do this sort of movement. The other thing you can do, for example, if I go to Twitter right now, for example, if I want to scroll down, right, that you have to swipe up, all I have to do is have my hand flexed like that and all I have to do is go up just like that and it works very smooth very simple and if I want for example to scroll up all I have to do is swipe down or flex my wrist just like that right and it works so quick is very intuitive and if I want to grab a shot I just can grab a shot right so that's so that's fantastic from Huawei and this is my favorite way to actually take a screenshot out of my Huawei P40 Pro. Now, talking screenshots, Huawei P40 Pro offers still two other alternatives. One is called partial screenshot, which means with a knuckle again, you have to knock and without disengaging, you have to draw a circle. Right? So I draw a circle, so I knocked and then I draw a circle. And here is the, the, the face of Michael Thomas, right? And so what I can do now is scale it up, scale it down, you know, uh, do whatever you, you want to do. And then of course you can also be more creative. You can draw lines, whatever. You can change the shape. You can make it perfect oval or rectangle and then just save it and then share it to your friend or whatever. So how about the other one, the scroll shot? The scroll shot, just as the name implies, is a screenshot but in a scroll method you'll need to take two to three uh, screenshots to actually capture all these tweets right but with a scroll shot all you have to do is knock draw an s just like that it will uh, start to scroll down stop and here is a full scroll shot which means now we have all these tweets i i mean we have like six tweets just with a one second scroll shot, right? And that's another awesome thing. And again, you can still uh, play with the angles, play with, uh, you can scale it down, scale it up, so you can get creative uh, as much as you want. Now let's move on because the Huawei P40 Pro offers other magic uh, shortcuts. Okay, now how about recording the screen on your Huawei? That is very simple. All you have to do is knock with two knuckles this time, twice on the screen, just like that. How about a detective shortcut? Yeah, you can take a picture ultra fast. All you have to do is double press the lower volume, just like that. And the picture that comes out from this ultra snapshot is a 7.6 megapixel, which is cool. Uh, what else? How about waking up the screen? Well, this is very common to many, to many phones nowadays. So the first way is, of course, to raise up your phone, just like that. Right? The second way is to tap on the screen. On my iPhone 11, I just have to tap once and it wakes up the screen. On the Huawei P40 Pro, twice. If I make you a simple question, which one do you prefer better? Tapping once or tapping twice? Of course, some of you will say that tapping once is much faster and tapping twice takes 
longer, right? Now, if you're about to ask me, I'll actually take side with the Huawei. Why? Because tapping once could be accidental, right? In my opinion, it's like the Huawei has implemented a, like a more conscious system, which means that the Huawei knows that there is a human that is calculating to actually uh, requires me to open the screen, to wake up the screen. And so you need to tap twice, right? Answering a call, very easy again. All you have to do is pick up your phone, place it next to your ear and it will open the call automatically for you. So that's another feature. How about muting the call that you're receiving? All you have to do is flip your phone on the other side and that's it. It will go in silent mode and it won't bother you. So all these are awesome features Henry, but how to actually turn them on? And that's very simple. Just follow me here. So to turn on these features, what we want to do is open settings, scroll all the way down to the menu. What we want is accessibility features and lastly, shortcuts and gestures. Here you play with all and of course you can customize to your needs. There's also this reduce volume ringtone feature that I forgot to mention, which basically decreases the volume down as you raise your phone up. So guys, I really do recommend you try them out because it's are very, very interesting. So to sum it up, I really think that the Huawei has done an amazing job with their user interface and these shortcuts. And I'm aware that these features could have actually been introduced also to the P20 series, May 20 series, P30. Not sure about that. All I know that when I go to this guy, the P40 Pro, I, I, I got curious to actually learn it all. And so after I found out about these gestures and features, I thought why not to share it with you guys because I think in the near future we are going to get more introduced with such features and I think that we should actually get uh, get them learned by now so we can get things uh, uh, step by step. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful and yeah, I'm Henry. Have a good one. Bye-bye.